Okay, uh, countdown. Oh, we'll be doing three, two, one, go. You ready? Okay. Okay, so three, two, one, go. Welcome, everybody. This is Ace of Seafood, the game you've never heard of, but it's the game that everybody should play. So, as you can see, we are salmon. Our goal is to capture all these reefs with my gang of buddies and basically murk these other fish and take their homes. We are basically gangbangers, but in the ocean. As you can see, we can also breed fish, force them into our squad, as slaves. <clears throat> so this is the all reefs percent, which means we are going to be getting all the reefs as the category implies. So we do have, why am I saying we, I have a world record thanks to a Japanese player and some other American player. They shortened the time of any percent ridiculously, so it's not even worth a running. So here we are going to get... We are going back to this so we can actually kill this barracuda again, so we can steal his genes. We use the genes to breed the fish. And as it so happens, the barracuda is actually the strongest fish right now for AI. What we do is we breed one barracuda over here. And we go on our romp to uh, be the ace of seafood, of course. So, as you might be able to tell, this is a pretty indie ass looking indie game, yeah? Just so happens the developer is Japanese, which is, sort of explains why this thing is even a thing. And of course, what's a fish game without any battleships? Because you definitely do need some sort of adversary that's equal to fish, yeah? By the way, as you might have already noticed, we are shooting lasers. Uh, my entire squad is dead, but it doesn't matter because we're the ones who will be doing all the damage. All, all of it. Every single hit point is gonna be us. I do have a gene emote, Rexy. It's tactical espionage. Where's the weren't on your phone, you would know that. So, plot of this story, of this game, is that we are actually the souls of extinct humankind reincarnated into fish. That is the plot of this game. Including the battleships, those are possessed by humans as well. They're not... There are no humans. Alive? What am I doing? It's just... The souls inhabiting these ships. Let's make another barracuda. That's pretty much it for the story. Just the AI isn't all that great, as you can see there, and that barracuda is stuck on the refrigerator door. These guys are a joke. These guys are not strong. Summary 
times I'm gonna ignore submarines. So you can see the UI is pretty cluttered, yeah. guys with the uh, barracudas. That is the goal for now. Where am I going? I'm going here. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I don't know why, but whenever I get on the mic, I just have to clear my throat a lot. It's not that I don't talk a lot in real life. It's just, I don't know, something about talking on the mic itself makes my throat fuck up or something. Look at these barracudas go, I don't even have to do anything. Reticle is just a suggestion. <laughs> like, your shots barely ever go where you expect them to. They just do what they want. <laughs> so, we got a long way to go until we get reach the next reef. Uh, this is a strat. That's not the way. Let's just explain the HUD while we get there, I guess. Uh, food is practically useless. There's absolutely no reason. But anyways, if you reach zero food, you stop regenerating stamina. About it. Let's not go into this reef so we can reset the position of our squad. On the bottom left is uh, your resources. That's what you use to breed and put experience points and whatever you want. On the top left is uh, your D pad, which uh, controls which weapon you select. Another one on the top left is your face buttons, your X square triangle circle. That's uh, your squad formations. Select just different styles of minimap. I just use the biggest one because it's the biggest. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, we are on to the next one. I'm just gonna sit here for a while until. Let's 
So, killing these leopard seals, take their home. Good enough, right? This is, this is the real Call of Duty. Oh god, they're so far away, I can't even see their health. Oh shit, everybody's dead. Uh oh, this is not good. Uh oh, oh this is... to die because they weren't supposed to die. <laughs> so it's another long trek over. Patches uh, actually gave the leopard seals an AI. They don't just hug you to non death anymore. They actually do damage now and they hit pretty hard. Was around two, I guess. Back in my guys die that. Barracudas should be killing them pretty fast, but really not. Holy shit, am I gonna have to just try again? Jesus Christ. That leopard seal is almost dead. Let's get rid of that one. Let's swim up. This guy out. Holy shit, they're so fucking far away. Get back here. Hey, there we go. So the barracudas are supposed to grab onto them and never let them go. So that I can't actually do anything. The uh, so I can actually. Okay, now we are on our way to uh on out. Sort of easier. So my one complaint, I have no idea where people are sometimes because uh, the targeting reticle just refuses to highlight them. So the one thing you have to know when you uh, fight against these ships is that they have armor that deflects shots. But you gotta be careful to uh, flank them. They hurt a lot. So they have missiles and torpedoes and shit. So, as you probably could tell right there, this game does have destructible terrain. You can shoot through everything, practically everything, except for uh, the reefs themselves. So experience, uh, there is a purpose of them. More experience points you have, more damage and health you do. More damage and health you have, I guess. Come on, tag it. So 
sadly, you need to manually allocate experience points for your squad. You can't just be just can get it automatically. Crabs also have a uh, fucking armor that deflects shots unless you hit them at the perfect angle. Alright, so we have getting pretty close to uh, getting all the briefs. Uh, Gameplay is it. Uh, natural reefs, as you saw there, don't have defending fish and uh, gives less capacity points which you use to uh, build your squad a certain number of capacity points. Each fish has a capacity point that uh, they require in order to be in your squad in the first place. So we're getting close to the cap on resources. I'm probably gonna spend some time in the menu allocating them to the squad. Faster, Leopard Seal! So slow and fat! So oh, these guys are... push over. are really weak. Pretty low on uh, experience points. Myself right now. Max health that I should be at with the Lemon Seal is 1091, I think. 1000 something. This is another ship reef. Battleships. So as you can see, I cannot see where the ships are because targeting is not Gotta hold something. That's it. Seven out of thirty-eight.
kill these monsters, eat their souls, steal their genes. Don't need it. Come on, get in there. Just shove your face in there, leopard seal. You can do it. They swim so fast, and he can only aim so fast. Oh shit! They're just fucking biting me. Come on! Let me hit you, Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! I'm gonna have to use the weak beam. So I can revive my squad because I just got owned by a bunch of salmon. Tunas. I mean, same as earlier. I hope it's front page. I want more people to run this game. The one other. American guy stopped running the game, and one Japanese guy also stopped running the game. I just want somebody else to run the game. It's a fairly cheap game as well. It regularly goes on sale for nine dollars, so it's fairly cheap. Holy shit! I got dunked. Better exploration game than No Man's Sky. Come on, get in there. As you can see, I'm not even aiming anywhere close to the salmon in order to hit them. So, whenever you, uh, get to a reef, they just sort of hop out, because they spawn then and there. Hey big boy. Shit, it's a rave. I'm getting owned. Crabs are too expensive for their own good. Kill them. So, this developer actually managed to get this game on a Wii U. That's how dedicated he is. Can't see. Ooh. 
Forget that even happened. Ooh, I'm out of the water again. I was expecting to die on all these easy fights. This is another long segment of just swimming. Gotta go underneath this structure to the right in order to get to a secret reef. Fat booty through this uh, tight little crank. Vampire squids here. Holy I mean, shit! So this next reef used to be the hardest reef to uh, take because of these fish or these fucking monsters that defend it. But AI was tuned down and now they're just a joke and a half. Still don't want to get hit by them, but they're just they're just not as aggressive as they used to be. This next reef, however, is filled with little shits that were so overtuned that I just I'm just really upset whenever I have to fight these guys. Little cartwheeling little shits. That's what they are. They just instantly melt your health. Like I'm expecting all my barricades to die, as well as me. These fucking saris. Nightmare in fish form. Ah, I'm melting. My guys are melting. Look at these cartwheeling little shits. They're cartwheeling out of the fuck. Almost final boss, the mini boss. Uh, just want to make sure that <laughs> actually taking all the reason. Yep, okay. It doesn't matter. This run wasn't going to PB anyways, and also, uh, this, this run is going to end in like three minutes anyway, so might as well check.
I didn't use my stamp. I didn't use my resources. Oh boy. That was a mistake. Probably should have used the resources. <laughs> oh well. Gotta wait for these guys to join me down here. Favorite seafood? That's a tough choice. It's gonna have to be a tie between squid and probably salmon. So, welcome to the mini boss giant squid. Speaking of squids. So, this guy also has armor on his, uh, head, or his body, I guess. And you have to be perpendicular to his body in order to shoot up there. So, I'm just, this uh, lower part, where his tentacles are, is unguarded. So, you can just shoot freely there. That wasn't so bad, other than the fact that four of my guys died. Don't worry, they just respawn here. This is the final boss, you guys. We are in space, and we're fighting a giant synthetic fish. So like I said earlier, mankind is extinct. All, their, all the human souls have been reincarnated as fish with lasers and uh this is apparently what they were working on before they became extinct or at least this is made by aliens or something i don't know man this game has no plot this guy is taking forever to die because he's not actually coming towards me time is coming up soon it ends when the music changes. It used to be when there was a loading icon, but the developer removed that, so instead I changed the timing to when the music changes because that's when the credit starts. So time is coming in like 30 seconds. Tides train the fish, sand nurtures the crabs. Biofish was unable to compete with fresh fish. We will continue to observe. Goodbye, heroes of the quantum sea. Alright, time ends. Now. Oh, they eat seafood all reefs. As you can see, only one person developed the game, and one person did the music for the game. With all these fonts. Special thanks to all these Nipponese people. Thank you for that uh, amazing run. Not gonna lie, that was one of my favorites so far. We got a 33 minutes, 18 seconds. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's, That's it. all you got. Yep. This will uh, transition over. Up next, we got Resident Evil.